my Libra. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to my channel. I am Chandra Lynn and this is your general energy reading. It is timeless so whenever you come across it, but I am recording it around mid-June. It is general so take it how it resonates with you and your life and your situations, experiences, disregard the rest. It is focused on the eternal and the etheric so anything revealed outside of yourself is really just to help you gain better understanding, clarity, and balance and control all within yourself. Um, thank you so much for the likes, the subscribes, the subscribes, I am not speaking well today, the comments and the donations, the energy from it is beautiful and amazing and I love it, thank you, it really just, um, makes it really, really feel effortless and good and low energy usage to get in front of the camera and do these readings. So with that, I'll go ahead and get started. Um, I want to say what I was picking up on you earlier was some kind of smart Alec, like smart ass energy, but also kind of, um, I don't know, it was kind of like sexy and salty all at the same time. It's almost like even, even if you're not in a good mood, like, I don't know, music can directly put you back into a good mood. It's really a good energy. Eagle, see from a higher perspective. All right, what's on the bottom? With summer, bask, enjoy, in light. Okay, so yeah, this, this energy is really awesome. It's very, very like supported by the universe, by source energy. However, if you want to resonate with it um Hold on just one second, Libra, because this is kind of awesome. Um, it's almost like you have been waiting. You had been in this energy of waiting a long time to be kind of like disconnected from a certain energy that was always very down, always very down in, in some way. Um, and now you do, you have this like sassy, sexy, salty, kind of having fun, dancing, chilling, vibing, buzzing around, enjoying everything energy. And it's almost like just now coming to the realization of like, holy crap, holy shit, did I really leave all that shit behind? Well, oh shit. Like, there's just this energy of basking in the holy, like, look at what I did. Look at what Libra did. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm 
stillness on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so in the west, uh, in the east, you got tree with grounding. In the south, you got ocean with ebb and flow. In the west, you got ceremony with invocation. And in the north, you got crystals and focus. This is absolutely, uh, I'm just kind of like, um, all right, so under, right, the bottom of the deck, you got lake and stillness. Now, this does not mean that things are still, there is a lot of activity underneath that water and everything, um, but it's almost like, um, okay, so the cards that, come out the north is always the card that's closing out right this is the end of the cycle you got a crystal you got the crystal card and you got the focus right and this is what this is saying because this is kind of like this new perspective of like holy shit did i leave that behind was uh what is what just like shifted all of this right this focus was the energy the action energy that you took to start you know going higher so this energy started out in a cave right this energy started out in cave but now it's free in a sense and that's kind of what this is coming down to is like a a freedom read not like how do you get your freedom like holy shit here it is you did it you accomplished it so these cards right here and these two cards are really just kind of um i don't know i want to say focal points if they resonate because this is kind of like you've never experienced this like <clears throat> I was kind of, how I was shown is it was almost like if it was, if I was standing here with you, Libra, and for the first time we both realized like where we were, where we were out of, and it was like, holy crap. And it's just kind of looking around and everything is so beautiful and serene. And it's just this kind of peaceful energy, um, It is a very peaceful energy, um, but it is in no way done. It's just the um, finalization of the of the first cycle of it, right? It was the dismantle, and then the kind of like um, yeah, the implementing and the taking out of what no longer was, you know, getting out of this cave situation. Um, So you got the tree and the grounding in the new. So this means like right now, things are still moving. But this perceived stillness to you is a time for you to really make sure that you're good and balanced and grounded. Get accustomed. Um, allow, allow yourself to, how do you think? How do you feel? Um, what do you tend to want to do in this new energy? It's all new. So it's almost like you have to give yourself a bit of a, a chance to kind of figure it out in a sense. Um, and then on the south, you got the ocean with the ebb and flow. So the source card. And this is really just talking about like... There is no surprises in a sense, no evil, ill will, malicious surprises in, in this area because how you chose to get free was through source, right? It was completely unconditional. 
Um, in the West, you got invocation with the ceremony. So what this is saying to me, because this is, you know, in the, the wisest part of you, this is in the evening, in really like this calm kind of energy. And so what this says for me is of doing some kind of like, I don't know, special action of, of honoring you and your gratitude for like the work that you did, but it's just like an honoring after you kind of take a little bit of time to observe things, um, you're going to know what action you're going to kind of flow into. <sighs> Like, I'm just really picking up on this kind of, like, I don't know. I just really want to relax. But yeah, it's almost like this is a time because now that you're here, you also are not going to be taking, like, doing certain things anymore because there is no need. And then at the same time, it's like a whole recalibration. It's like you, you know, cleaning and deleting the cookies and cleaning the disk drive and then defragging the computer, removing any programs or any installs that are, you know, no longer being used. This and, but it's really not a time of like working. It's just that this is what's already happening. So just kind of enjoy yourself and, and chill. All right, so very powerful what you have done. It is done. Worthy and shadow. So you can feel like the salty, sassy part of you right now is a shadow aspect. Um, but it's not a shadow aspect. It is very much a joy and light aspect. Just because your joy and light is triggering to others, like, where is others' energy at? If you're buzzing around being your sassy self triggering others it's just triggering them to their own shit it has absolutely nothing to do with you all right like i said it is it is source energy it is divine you would not be like you know all up there flying around looking great um so yeah, if you were thinking that you needed to tamper down that aspect of being like happy and joyful and feeling like awesome and sexy and sassy, like no, no. Like it just do you when you feel good. I'm going to leave it at that because it really feels like it's just kind of a time to just chill. And um, if you're still here, thank you. I sure hope this resonates and just kind of like, you know, gives you clarity, understanding, and confirmation. And I will see you guys soon. Love you.